first I wanted to go to the utils.js and just show you the um, Ajax query so that um, uh, it'll be in the server. So it's in the server case. And again, here you can add as much or as little um, uh, information you would like to get along with whatever we're already sending over. So you're welcome to change this, you know, Ajax call however you like. Uh, mm -hmm. Just uses uh, jQuery, you know, um, basic uh, Ajax method. So it's a lot of documentation on that, fairly common use around the web. Yeah. So um, now we're just going to go ahead and I'm going to make sure there's a course in here first. Yes, there is. Okay, so we're going to hit this manifest file and we're going to hit it with this just sample query string. So I'm going to hit the launch.htm and then I'm going to send the course ID of one and my name and I'll be student ID one and then the course directory will be courses slash SSLA tryout which is um, courses slash SSLA tryout. So we'll hit mm -hmm. that directory, parse the manifest and then away we go. Okay. So let me go ahead and open up the project. So it builds the project, and then I made the start file for the project, the mycoursemenu.htm, which is the link I just showed you. Mm -hmm. So we pass that data over to the adapter, and at this point it shows the table of contents, which is pulled from the, um, the IMS manifest file. And then we have um, the, uh, the loading screen and then it pulls all the data from the database. And at this point, I've been in this course many times because it's a demo. So it says, would you like to return to where you left off because there's already data in the database telling it that there's a bookmark. So if I say yes, then it takes me back to the quiz and it takes me back to all the settings that I had before I left off. You can see TOC is true, so we hide it. Yeah. Uh, so we hide the table of contents. I'm going to say no, so we start back at the beginning here. Right. And this previous and next activity would be if you were showing the menu, then it would traverse through the items. You had more than one, so you could click next activity and we go to SCO2, SCO3, SCO4, SCO5, etc. Mm -hmm. 